Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now, today I'm going to be taking a question from a certain at Lord's Bank 777 on Twitter. Now, that's at Lord's Bank 777 on Twitter. And remember, you can ask me a question as well. Just ask me the question using the hashtag Ask Reno. You can ask on Twitter, you can ask on Instagram, Facebook, or you can even ask by putting your question under the comment section of this video. Now, Lord Bank 777 wants to know how to make money from <laughs> how to make money from her phone so that's basically well lord banks i mean it could be him or her so uh, nowadays a lot of people are crazy with their pronouns so i just is how to make money from his or her phone now you know to go straight to your question lord bank 777 the thing is there are a variety of ways that you can make money on your phone you know a variety of ways and i've taught on them i've taught on them if you if you go on this channel you actually see literally you know almost a thousand videos teaching you proven ways on how to make money now one of the best ways to make money on your phone and you got to remember there are two ways you know ways that require you know for you to have a little capital and then there are other ways that don't even require any capital for you at all in fact as a matter of fact you get your capital by doing that and one of those ways is through surveys one of those ways is through surveys now there are a number of survey sites, you know, and I've talked about them, you know, a number of them. So you've got uh, Inbox Dollars, which works in the United States. You've got Inbox Pounds, which works in the United Kingdom. And then you've got Google Opinion uh, Rewards, you know, basically which works, you know, um, everywhere. And there are a number of other sites like Swagbox, you know. But here's the thing. If you live in a country, maybe in Africa, a lot of these sites might not work for you because they are specific. They work with manufacturers who sell their products mostly in the West and sometimes in Asia and India. So if you are living in, say, Africa, they might not work for you. And I've said this to people before. If you are affected by this, what you want to do is you want to get somebody in the Western world to register for you, and then you do the surveys, and then you split the profits. So surveys are, is just going to be, would I say, your bread and butter if you want to make money from your phone. As a matter of fact, I did a video, I think how to make uh, thousands of dollars just by watching videos on your phone. And I'm going to put a link to that video in the description box of this video. So it has, it has more detail. I go into more detail there. You know? And then another way by which you can make money from your phone is you can actually make money from your phone by Amazon KDP. Amazon KDP just is Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. And a lot of people think that, okay, you've got to be a proficient writer, you've got to be a skilled writer to go into Amazon KDP. No, you don't have to be. A lot of the books that are successful on Amazon KDP are books by first-time writers, people who don't know their left from their right, people who just write honestly. They write about what's happening to them in, in maybe in Rwanda, you know, their quotidian daily life, you know, but boring life. They just write about it, and then they upload it on Amazon KDP, and then people buy you have to I mean, understand that right now there are a lot of people all over the world who have been empowered right now with their smartphone and data and they've got disposable income and they don't want to read just the regular stuff from America and Europe. They want to read things from everywhere. So Amazon KDP, it's very, very simple to register an Amazon KDP account. It's so simple. I did a video on it. I'm going to put the link to that video under this, uh, the description box of this video as well. So you can actually do it. It's so easy. So just basically write anything, you know, even your grammar doesn't have to be uh, correct. A lot of times you can actually get an editor online. You know, you can get an editor online and then they do the work for you at very, very, I mean, very, very affordable rates. You know, like maybe a hundred dollars, they edit it for you. But even if you don't want to edit it, you just want to upload, upload it like that. Yeah, you can do it. You know, you can make money on Amazon KDP. And uh, with Amazon KDP, it's actually one of those ways where you can make money on your phone with very little capital. I think maybe it costs um, less than uh, $10 to set it all up. But in any case, Amazon KDP is one of those ways where you can make money on your phone. Another way you can make money on your phone is by crypto trading. Now, I do crypto trading, and if you on this channel, if you're regular on this channel, you know that I've talked about crypto trading a lot because I've made a fortune for crypto trading. And basically, what do I do? You know, I index. I index. And it's so easy to index. You know, I've taught how to index. And one of, one of the sites that you can use to index is uh, coinmarketcap.com, coinmarketcap.com. And it's free. 
Now, there are other tools that are not free that you can register, you know, but CoinMarketCap.com, which is free, is the best one of them all. And then you also, also you're going to need an exchange. I use Coinbase for my exchange, but a lot of people in Africa, a lot of people in Ghana, Nigeria, Tanzania, uh, Uganda, Kenya, and these are countries that I've been to, I've spoken to, trying to help people there. They use Binance because like Coinbase, I think it doesn't operate outside the United States and the United Kingdom. And then you have uh, eToro, which also, you know, like uh, blacklist certain countries because of, you know, past experience. But Binance, Binance works in all of these countries, also works in China, it works in Vietnam, where I have a lot of subscribers from Vietnam and Cambodia, Nepal, Bangladesh, India. So eToro works there. And basically, what, what, does, uh, um, what, what does it take to index cryptocurrency? All you just want to do is you want to go on CoinMarketCap. And then you want to search for you, the, you, the chosen cryptocurrency that you want to buy. Like maybe if I normally trade in Aptos, Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, and then sometimes I might go to Wikicat, you know, like which is a bit riskier, you know, Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, but I tend to limit myself to these ones. But then I don't just buy, I make informed decisions by looking at the price and then I chart the price every 15 minutes. And so after a week of doing that, I'm able to say with you know, some authority, what I think the price is going to do. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? And then it enables me to buy cryptocurrency. And you don't need a lot of uh, capital to buy cryptocurrency. I buy 10 units of Bitcoin at a time, so I can invest about 300,000. But you don't, because with Binance, with Coinbase, with um, eToro, you can buy fractions of a crypto. And then you wait until they go up maybe between 15 to 35% and you sell immediately. You don't hold up for their life, you sell immediately. So that's one of the ways. Now, if you want to know how to create an account on Binance or Coinbase, I'm going to put a link in the description box of this video on how to do that. But you know, you don't even have, you don't need that, you don't even need that video. It's super easy. You can actually do it by yourself. You know, you can go there on Binance or Coinbase. You can actually get the, the app on the App Store, the Google Play Store. But I'll put the video on nonetheless, a link to the video. Now, I've given you you know, these ways, but another way to make money from your phone, and it's pretty easy, is by selling photos. Now, you don't need a professional camera. It will help if you have a professional camera. I've got a professional camera, but you don't need a professional camera. You know, one of the ways you can just do it is like, you know, maybe like there's been like an accident, or maybe there's uh, uh, maybe like um, an event, a ceremony, uh, I mean, happening in your neighborhood, or maybe, you know, like anything out of the ordinary ha happening around you. You go and take a photo and then you upload to FOAP. I like FOAP because FOAP is pretty very straightforward and it's for amateurs. But there are other sites, you know, that, you know, I mean, there's a Shutterstock, you know, Getty Images, and then there are other places where you can buy, you can sell your photos. And I'm going to put a link because I did a video on, uh, on that. I'm going to put a link in the description box. But FOAP is pretty straightforward. So you can just go there. FOAP basically is just phone app. And so, uh, uh, sorry, photo app. Photo app, sorry, not photo app, photo app. So you can go there, you can upload your photos, and then you can sell your photos. It's one way where you can make money, you know. And then another way where, where you can make money, a lot of people underestimate this, is Airbnb. Now, the thing about Airbnb is this. You can actually put up your residence on Airbnb. You know, just clean it up, you know, take a bunch of photos, and then create an Airbnb profile and put your residence there. And then you start making money. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking that you need to live in a high bro area before you can list on Airbnb. No, you know, I went to Kenya. The biggest slum in Africa is in Kenya. It's in a place called Kibera. I went there. People, I taught people how to list their properties on Airbnb in Kibera. Now, if people in Kibera can list on Airbnb, and you don't have to take my word for it, you can actually go right now on Airbnb and just put Kibera. You're going to see a bunch of uh, listings come up. So if you live in Ajegunle in Lagos, or if you live in, you know, like a place, one of the slums in Ghana, close to Petaco, you can actually list. You don't have to live in a high bro area, you know. So I've been to um, uh, Nepal, if you live in Kathmandu, if I've been to um, Cambodia, if you live in uh, Siam Reap, if you live, uh, I, mean, I know there are a lot of places like a, a bit shanty over there, it doesn't matter. List your property on Airbnb and you can make money. Another way is, you help people, you have your own portable travel agency. Because a lot of people in the third world, that's in Africa, Southeast Asia, some parts of Latin America. I went to Peru and I was very surprised. Peru is pretty much third world. A lot of places in Africa are better than Peru. 
But here's the thing. In a lot of these countries, their central banks don't allow them have access to foreign currency. And then a lot of, uh, uh, let's say, travel uh, airlines, British Airways, KLM, you know, Emirates, will not accept their local currency. So a lot of these people are stuck. They want to travel, but then they have uh, their bank cards and they're not able to buy tickets. If you have access to a foreign bank account or a foreign credit card, or if you can work with somebody in maybe the United States, United Kingdom, Europe, uh, what you can do is that you can start buying tickets for people via Expedia and then charging them a premium. So, okay, you know what? I'm going to buy you a ticket. If you go to British Airways, you try to buy the ticket on British Airways, you know, they're going to ask you to bring a lot of money and then you don't even have that money in your uh, in, in a hard currency because of the rules of the central bank in your country. However, if you come to me, I can actually buy your ticket for you on Expedia at a fraction of the cost and then you just pay me. A lot of people, I did a video on that, I'm going to put it in the description box of this video. A lot of people are making money by that, especially in Nigeria and Ghana after I did that video. It's so easy. Or you, I mean, if, if you are in those countries and you have a foreign account, then it's easier for you. If you don't, then you collaborate with somebody who has a foreign account and then you start buying tickets for people. You know, it's pretty much that easy. So now, how many have we talked about? We talked about surveys. We talked about Amazon KDP, right? We've talked about uh, phones. And then we've also talked about um, Airbnb and then uh, travel agencies. Now, one other way by which you can make money, and believe me, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you know what, uh, affiliate marketing doesn't work. Affiliate marketing works. The only issue is that people don't like to put in the work that is required by affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing works. However, it requires a lot of work. You know, so what it means is that you, you're going to have to register and then there are two of the biggest affiliate marketing uh, websites and I'm going to put them, it's going to come up on the screen, you're going to see them. You go there and you register and they give you a link and then you use your social media or your website to promote that link and then every time somebody buys from clicking that link, you get a profit, you get, uh, um, let's say, a premium, you get uh, a commission, okay, that's a better word, a commission. So these are ways by which you can make money on your phone. Very straightforward, very, very straightforward. Now, you see, the reason why I'm not going in detail, Lord Banks 777, you know, if you're he, if you're she, I do apologize. I'm just going to say uh, whoever you are. The reason why I don't go into details is because I've done specific detailed videos on each of these things I'm presenting to you here, and I'm putting them in the description box of this video. Now, here's the thing. If you've watched this, you have a question relating to how you can make money, relating to business, relating to finance, relating to crypto, relating to shares, you know, basically, you know, money, business, which is what this channel is focused on. You can also ask a question. You can ask using the hashtag AskReno, hashtag AskReno. So I go on the hashtag and I pick one question and I tackle it in a day. Now this one, you've got to remember, I do not have a WhatsApp for a, a Telegram channel, a Gmail email address, or a contact number. So you're going to have people approaching you in the comment sections of my videos telling you help plan, guideline, one-on-one -on -one mentoring. These guys are scammers, they're spammers. If you contact them, you're going to ask you to pay $1,000 and that's the last you're going to hear from them. And then you start chasing me on social media, say, Pastor Wendell, you dipped me. No, I haven't dipped you. I am the apostle of prosperity. I teach you how to make money. I don't take money from you. Now this one, the monkey saying, God bless you. But when all travels all around the world, I hope you get inspired about what you see. Apostle of greatness, Reno is a master. Only one man against the old world in large, fighting with the monster. Poverty I can't stand. That's why Reno is. A